in the United States, cases of squamous cell carcinoma of the anus are on the rise. Squamous cancers of the anus are linked to the human papillomavirus, or HPV, a virus commonly known to cause cancers of the anus, cervix, penis, vagina, vulva, and throat. By weakening the immune response, HIV, AIDS, and smoking further contribute to the risk of HPV-associated squamous cancers of the anus. In a recent study, researchers from USA looked at the epidemiological trends and geographical variations in the incidence and mortality rates of squamous cancer of the anus in the U.S. and examined their association with smoking and AIDS prevalence patterns. Analysis of the data from 2001 to 2005 and 2014 to 2018 revealed a rise in both the incidence and mortality of cases of squamous cancer of the anus, particularly among men and women aged above 50. While increases were found in nearly all the states, those in the Midwestern and Southeastern U.S. observed notable increases in cases of squamous cancer of the anus among both men and women. In nearly all the states, the magnitude of increase in cases was higher among women above 50. The researchers also found an association between the incidence of squamous cancer of the anus and AIDS prevalence between 2014 to 2018 among men, particularly evident in states like Georgia, Florida, and Louisiana, which report a higher prevalence of HIV-AIDS. Among women, the incidence of squamous cancer of the anus was higher in states like Kentucky, West Virginia, Tennessee, Missouri, Arkansas, and Ohio, which report female smoking rates of over 20%, indicating a strong correlation between the incidence of squamous cancer of the anus and smoking habit in women. Furthermore, Trends in the incidence of squamous cancer of the anus in association with AIDS trends suggest that states with greater emphasis on HIV care that also have robust anal cancer screening infrastructure, e.g. California, report a decline in cases of squamous cancer of the anus, underscoring the importance of HIV care and timely screening for the appropriate management of this condition. Even as the burden of unvaccinated and aging at-risk population continues to rise in the U.S., these findings can guide state and region-specific interventions and policies to prioritize healthcare delivery for the better management of squamous cancer of the anus.